Okay, I want to talk about the relationship between parents and children and grandparents in Spain, the Philippines and UK. In the UK, um, I find the disconnect between families and parents, children, grandparents quite odd. I mean, I know grandparents that think it's an inconvenience to look after the grandkids. Uh, they see it as not their problem, and why should they? They brought up their kids, why should they bring up their grandkids? They're missing the point that there's supposed to be a connection with the grandkids, but also they should have a connection with their own kids in the first place. It sounds like the whole thing is just messed up completely. Um, so they miss out on that. But then you've got the thing where people are afraid to go near kids, you know, because the paranoia of being called a paedophile, which I find strange but unjustified. I think it's more paranoia. Um, I mean, the funny thing is, there's an article, I think, today in the Birmingham Post relating to, um, they say Asians, Asian cabbies, I would say that Asians are wrong term um, because two reasons, and this this is sort of get out clause for me. Firstly, you're here. I say I'm British. I don't say white British. I don't say Scottish British or anything else. I say British. As clearly as that, you're either British or you're not. Your passport is a United Kingdom passport until I change it to Spanish or something else. I'm British, whether I like it or not. These groups separate themselves out, being British Muslim, British Black, British Pakistani, whatever they want. They decide to separate themselves and create a minority group. So this today was taxi drivers, Birmingham, and they put um, Asian, British Asian. Um, these guys don't define themselves as Asian generally. They define themselves as British Pakistani, British Muslim. Um, so as such, that's the terms I would use because I don't like the media lying. I don't like media trying to put a little bow on top of something to f hide the fact that this is a special minority group that are often doing things they shouldn't do. And the reason they've chosen Asian is because they know that there's been several other cases involving the same types of groups and same people identify themselves as specific groups. Um, that have done it in other parts of the UK. The councils are allegedly have been covering this up for 23 years, child abuse. Um, so that's one of the reasons people get paranoid about um, holding kids and stuff, you know, hugging kids or being near kids or being left with a child. Because this, these things go on in the UK and it's very hard to protect yourself because if a child makes an allegation against you you're already accused of something it's very hard to clear your name virtually impossible even if there's no nothing going on not that i'm saying this is about this group in the birmingham post uh, newspaper um we're not guilty what i'm saying is that those things happen and then everybody gets paranoid that they may be accused of being similar um, because of the way the laws and everything are set up. So then there's a lot of social interaction that is disconnected. Um, it's sad. Now, getting on to the positive side, I'll push the UK to one side, but I'm just saying there's a lot of these interactions do not happen in the UK that I'm about to discuss. In Spain, it's quite normal for teachers to hug and kiss kids and you know that is very hands-on in spade you'll get parents that will just stop in the road just before they take the kids into school give them a quick hug and you know very very hands-on with their children uk it could be seen as quite weird and there's something wrong with you for doing it in spain it's normal because they have social interaction um Philippines is similar, you know, they're very hands-on, but also you have, and Spain as well, I've seen this in Spain, a lot of grandparents will take the kids to school in Spain and pick them up. In the UK, um, 
a lot of a lot of grandparents see it as an inconvenience. Um, but in the Philippines, you will find the grandparents can often bring up kids because the parents are working. So there's a very strong bond with the older generations because later on, you know, the older generations may not be there, but they will then develop the connection with their parents that they may not have been able to have as a child, but they understand as they get older that the parents were working to pay for their education, etc., etc. As such, they they get over any negative um, issues because they understand that their parents couldn't be there all the time, but also they've had the time with the grandparents. So there's family orientation in the Philippines, family orientation in Spain, but the UK seems to be losing it. It seems to be obsessed with um, child abuse cases and stuff and making everyone paranoid about going anywhere near children. I find it bizarre. You know, I do find it bizarre purely because of the fact that they're losing so much social interaction with children. Um, Children need it. Children need to know that they're loved, cared for, uh, wanted, etc. When you start removing it all, you're creating very selfish people because they harden. Um, I know some kids that are left over a period of time in boarding school, even in the holidays, because these rich, wealthy families um, see it as defining a character and creating an independent individual. What they're doing is making somebody more like a cat, where a cat can be quite brutal when it wants to be. It does everything as a loner. Um, in the corporate world that is quite normal but at the same time I think that's what's wrong with half half the world's problems that these people exist um, because their actions are often of a single view and I think if they had a better childhood maybe they would actually uh, not softened but actually understood things more because if you remove the, like I said, you remove the interactions, and nobody's actually uh, had those interactions. How would they know what they feel like? How would they understand it? So, yeah, there's a lot of social aspects, and I think this helps with why the UK is becoming so selfish. Um, I know I'm always running the UK down lately, but it's not in that way. I'm just saying, well, it is in that way. But the UK, I don't hate. I would say I was disappointed with. I'd say that a lot of the stuff that I see is socially wrong could be fixed. But it seems to have a society that is more interested in paranoia, um, scaremongering and negativity than actually trying to fix all its issues um, so I'll take Spain any day but I thought all about this today because I was sat in the car watching the, the kids you know with their parents and you know would take my son son into school after lunch and I just thought how different it is, different it is here you know the the connection between kids and parents is very strong, and grandparents. The, you know, the family orientation is the most important thing. That's why sometimes people say, oh, the Spanish are lazy. No, they're not. I wouldn't say they're lazy. I would say they have a different way of life. Um, from the UK, it seems different, because we used to work in log hours, etc., and going home to an empty house, going home to a, a house where... Well, if you're a child going home to a house where your parents get home later than you, that's why all the kids' clubs exist now. Didn't you used to have kids' clubs when I was at, when I was at school? Um, because parents, you used to have one parent at home. No, you can't. Um, yeah, bizarre. It's not socially... Socially, it's not right. But also, reality is, it's not needed. You could have one parent at home if the system wasn't so absorbed in debt. Um, Because the reality is, 50% of the UK population doesn't need to work. Maybe as much as 80% doesn't. Um, But you normally find that the people that are working are carrying an entire family or two families or three families that don't work at all. Um, The burden could be shared. 
and now this is the thing I think this is where the UK is going wrong is it needs to understand that the burden should be shared to create a socially balanced country anyway thanks for watching